happened to Ileana from Adults Adopting Adults, the A&E reality television series that followed a bunch of adults trying to adopt another adult. Why would you adopt an adult? I had no one to be my legacy. I want grandkids in my life. I like hugging on you and you're awful sweet. He's been unfaithful in the past. I can't do this. This series has been getting a lot of attention, even though it was pulled after three episodes. People have been having so many questions about this show and what happened to one of the girls on it that was being adopted by a man named Danny. Now, Danny is creepy, to say the least. That's something that we can all agree on. If it was my poster, I'd want it to say, welcome to Ohio, where's my blowy, but... <laughs> And I think that's why a lot of us are curious about what happened to Ileana. I have seen so many comments from you guys on my other videos wondering what happened to her and if she is okay. I decided to do a little bit of digging and see if I could find anything out about where she is, if she's okay, did she get out. There were seven episodes left on this show that we never saw. So do they have footage of her leaving, of her getting out? Only saw three episodes and the amount of disturbing and creepy things in just three episodes, there's no telling what's on the remaining seven that we will never get to see. So did she leave? Is there footage of that? The only thing that people have been able to go off of are some tweets that were posted by somebody that allegedly came into contact with Danny. After I show you guys these tweets and what may have happened to Ileana, I have a little update about some posts that Danny has made on his Facebook that I think maybe some of you guys will be interested in and it's disturbing. I do have some other concerns and that's with these Facebook posts. Apparently people have found Danny on Facebook. Now before I get into that, if you guys are new here and you don't know who I am, I do have a second channel. I've been posting a lot about my pregnancy over there. I'm 31, pregnant with my first baby. That will be linked down below. I would obviously appreciate if you guys would go subscribe and go watch. I also have members content where I post extra content over there. And another cool thing, when you join, you get a little badge next to your name showing that you guys are a member and a supporter of this channel and my content, which means a lot to me. In my first video I did about this topic, I showed some tweets that were posted by a Twitter account called Shay Cab, and she came into contact with Danny when she was giving him a ride somewhere. It ended up in a conversation about him adopting Ileana. Danny was saying really disturbing things that made her question his intentions. The other day, I picked up a trucker a couple hours outside of the city. The more he talks, the more alarms start going off in my head. This 20-year-old from Greece is six months pregnant with a girl. Man claims he's not attracted to this girl but keeps saying yet deeper he goes the more i'm like this isn't adoption this is trafficking i don't believe he has fatherly adoptive intention now this was posted last year before the show was even announced the fact that everything lined up perfectly and the fact that she came out and said once the show did air that yes that creepy man on the show that is the same man that i gave a ride to it makes it more believable that what she's saying is actually true because how could she have known about this situation in such great detail before there was ever even a preview of it on TV. So it makes these next posts from her feel a little bit more credible about what she said happened to Ileana. Now this girl was never able to forget what Danny had said in the car. She was really concerned about this girl, if she was okay. And so she continued to check throughout the fall to see if the show had come out and to try and keep tabs on Danny and to see what was happening with this situation. Now, this is her tweet about Ileana. Danny was a truck driver, so that kind of gives some context to these tweets before I read them. There's some good and some bad news. The bad is that the TV show will air soon and the adoption, or at least the temp visa, went through and she came to America. The better news is that even the trucker's co-workers' wives and his cousin up the road were also concerned. The trucker wives told them to no longer associate with their co-worker, Danny, and they complied. From what I understand, the trucker's wife would not allow the young woman and her newborn baby to live in the house. So the trucker put her in a camper on the property, and as the fall turned into winter, the girl and her baby were cold. The concerned cousin invited the girl to come live with them. Not surprisingly, once the young lady, Ileana, was no longer reliant on the trucker for food and shit shelter, she started to distance herself. The trucker was not happy and told her 
her if his needs weren't being met, then she would need to reimburse him for all of his costs. And then she went on to say that the girl has allegedly gotten out of there. Now, as I was saying, we don't know what was filmed. This could have been something that they actually have footage of the situation unfolding that we just never saw. It seems to make some sense, especially with what we did see on TV. They did have her on a camper on the property. She said when she was no longer reliant on them for food and shelter um, that she distanced herself. I feel like she was gonna end up doing that anyways because what we did see, Ileana was starting to show that she was concerned and weirded out by them, especially in the scene where they were walking around the property and he had all those trailers and all these keep out signs and all the cameras. Now it just holds a bunch of stuff I need to get rid of. <laughs> so you don't want to end up in the trailer? Yeah. Not saying anything ever happens, but... Maybe not. <laughs> we don't want anybody to come yeah. trespass and bug us and stuff. I have security cameras all over the place. Oh. So they're watching us right now. But do you really? Yes, yes. we really do. Oh, wow. Yes. Yep. There's all kinds of hidden cameras around. So how safe do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I definitely feel nervous being here. I never expected that. I thought things would be very different, but unfortunately I can't change anything. You could tell she was really weirded out by that and it wasn't something that she was expecting. I mean, Danny's wife made a creepy joke about how you don't want to end up in the trailer. I would have wanted to hightail it out of there instantly, but I mean, this girl was pregnant. She had nowhere to go. Now here's what I'm really curious about. If she stayed there until it got cold, she had to have been there for a while because when she showed up and they're walking around the property, you can tell it's really hot. It has to be in the summer. I'm not entirely sure when they filmed it, but it wasn't winter. If that's true, she was there for a while, and I'm really curious what this girl experienced when she was living there. I'm also really curious what A&E filmed that they never aired. Now, I have seen comments from people that are saying that you guys wonder if she's even alive or, you know, if he hurt her. We have to remember that this situation was being filmed, and even when the cameras were no longer there if something really bad happened to her or she was hurt or even worse than that Danny wouldn't get away with that there are so many situations like this though where it's not filmed it's not recorded and the girls just go missing but with Ileana she did have the protection in the sense that it was recorded on TV it's really scary in situations with Ileana because she didn't have a family and those are the type of girls that get kidnapped and are never to be seen again the one that have less people around to question where they are or if they're okay. So I can see why even with the fact that it was filmed that people still want to know what happened to her and I hope that Ileana comes out and talks about her experience there. If he was telling her that you need to pay me back, it's not that hard to believe because with what we saw on the show, that scene where they're going to the airport and he started like questioning if she was using him. I have worries that Danny's being used and I'm being used for a couple months now. He's been sending her money and basically asking how high he should jump. Is she catfishing us? Is there a money angle here? I definitely feel like that kind of makes sense and sounds like a way that he would react if he felt like she abandoned him. I mean, he's in these scenes saying, she needs me, she wants to be with me. We are so happy you're here. <laughs> I gotta get another hug. Oh my God, I need your funny here. Ileana needs me. I couldn't be happier. I had to wait for my hug. I love her to death. I tell her that I love her and it's an appropriate love. Even though I believe that Ileana is probably safe, I do have some other concerns and that's with these Facebook posts. Apparently people have found Danny on Facebook. He continued to try and adopt people on Facebook or at least try and take on that like weird fatherly let me take care of you role that he was doing with Ileana and the 18 year old girl before her. There was a post that a mother of three had made on Facebook Facebook talking about her struggles and Danny actually responded to it and said something like send me a PM. People actually replied to what he said about how you know creepy he was <laughs> and then I saw an article that said that he also tried to contact another woman that had two children in the same manner. There are so many red flags that we've talked about with this man but I want to bring up this point that I haven't brought up before. Just to reiterate his bad intentions 
Not only did he try to adopt an 18 year old and try to adopt a 20 year old pregnant girl, but then he was asking a mother of three to message him and then another mother of two. There's a theme here and the theme is that they are all young women, pregnant or have children. If he had good intentions and genuinely wanted to help somebody that needed help, I don't think it would be the same type of girl every single time. There are young men that need help. There are older women that need help. It doesn't really seem like his intentions are just to help somebody. It seems like he's seeking out a type. The only pro to this being put on television was that it exposed the behavior. Then the con is that they removed it so we can't see what else had happened. I also wanted to bring a little bit of attention to this post right here. This woman actually left me a comment and I'm glad I saw it because sometimes I don't see every comment if I'm getting a lot of them. But I saw this one and it was from the owner of the Facebook group that Danny was a part of where he met Ileana. She said that A&E had spoken to her about being on it, but that it was clear that their intentions were to find something that was really dramatic and that her story wasn't dramatic enough for them. So they were basically scouting out dramatic, weird stories on this adoption, on this Facebook adoption page for a dramatized television show. But she also talked about how adult adoption can be a beautiful thing, which I totally agree with. And I would hate for something like this to give a bad reputation to adult adoption as a whole. There are situations where it can really help people and be very beneficial. Not every situation is weird. Even on the show, with what we did see, not every situation was weird. But with television networks, they look for the weirdest and most dramatic thing, and it can give situations like this a bad reputation. It's just really scary how some people like Danny can use this to do what he did, which I don't think was right. If there are any other updates, I'll definitely give them to you guys, but I I don't really foresee that unless Ileana comes out and says something. I don't know if we're gonna get anything else out of this story. I think people are definitely gonna try and keep tabs on what Danny's doing to make sure that he's not, you know, creeping on any young girls and taking advantage of them. But if there is anything new that comes out, I will obviously let you guys know. And if you guys wanna see more content like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you guys would like to join my channel, I will have it linked down below, or you can just go and subscribe to my second channel. I would appreciate that too. Like I said, I've been having a ton of fun filming over there. It's different content than this, but hopefully you guys will like it just the same. Hopefully I will see you guys over there and have a good day.